What, 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 welcome back to another round between the Human Benchmark website and Python. The location of today's match will be the verbal memory test. For those of you that don't know, the rules are simple. You get shown a word. If it's a word you haven't seen before, click new. If, on the other hand, you have seen the word, click seen. You continue on until you lose all three of your lives. As this is a relatively simple test, I will make a relatively simple program. All it needs to do is take a picture of this section of the screen, and if it's a new word, it'll put it into a list. Then, when it gets the next word, it checks that list that it has, and based off of that, it knows if it's a new word or if it's seen it before. Now, in order to ensure that the program will get every single word, what we'll need to do is we'll need to take the box and make it about this size that I'm showing you with my mouse here. That's just because, of course, a word like typecasting is much longer than a word like pillages and a word like sitting. So, si sitting. That's missing a T, isn't it? Wait a minute. Right, let's sort this for once and for all. Oh, it's sighting. Fix or build something in a particular place. Well, this is news to me. Maybe it's just because I'm done. So without further ado, let's get to the programming. So Python broke and um, it didn't save the data, well, the code. Um, but don't worry, I'll redo that and I won't do another montage for you, I guess. So it um, appears that my Python has just decided it doesn't want to work today. I can't save anything. I can't run anything. Um, yeah. Isn't that exciting? So after beating Python into submission, let's see how this first version of the program performs. Hmm. Um, interesting tactic. Huh, okay. Python just really doesn't want to do anything today. That's fine. Um, I've not gotten any error messages. It's just pretending like it's working. Which it isn't. So after some updates, let's give it another go. Ooh. Oh, this is good. Okay, so it's clicking new. No way. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Is this going to be a perfect program? Like, from the second try? Because I'm being genuinely honest, this is my second, well, second, third. I'm just trying to big myself up because there was a reasonably effortless, as you just saw, to make this. I just thought it would cause me way more trouble. Well, all that's left now is to just leave it running and see how far it gets. On second thoughts, let's speed it up a bit and then we'll leave it running. Yeah, yeah, this is a good idea. 
So Python has been optimized very highly. Um, and now it's not that fast, but I think this is a fine speed. Um, also, I don't really have anything better to do than wait for this. So, you know, <laughs> let's just see how far it gets then. Cue the montage, you know, montage fast thing. Just speed it up. I'm just telling the editor, which coincidentally is me. Well, the program seems to be working near perfectly. We lost a life at one point, and I'm actually surprised. <laughs> Where did they get these words from? And how many they have? We just broke the 1K mark. Hellos. That was really a word. Dunghill. Up culprits. That's normal. Hit out. What? I have no idea what half these words mean. Caesarines. Oh, I know sparrow. I know oceanic. That's easy. Oats. I know that word. Um, these are all normal. Microprogramming. Bargies. Approx. Nice. They really, they really came up with a lot of words for this test. Like, I'm surprised the program is still clicking new at some point. The looks like it's clicking scene more than new and which makes sense it has gone through a thousand and fifty words and it seems as if the program has finished 1166 words now that is quite impressive I mean, that's that's a lot of words. If we scroll down to take a look at the... Oh, oh, it's still running. My bad. I wondered what clicked. You done? Thank you. Um, if we scroll down to look at it, oh, it only goes up to 130. It's surprising the large amount of people have got this. I guess it's because this test is easy to finesse. You simply write down the words on a piece of paper which I guess is what my program is doing. Um, yes, definitely very far in the 100 percentile. But the program still missed a few words here and there. So I wonder, can we get it to perform better if I just zoom in on the website a little bit? Let's give it a try. Alrighty then, let's see how this new version compares. I've I've also made it print the list out every time it sees a new word in Python. Um, so after it's done with it, we should be able to take a look at all the words it's seen. And um, that should be interesting. I don't know. Just like to go through that. Let's see how far it can get.
Hi there. Don't be alarmed. Please. It's future me here. Now, past me had a bit of a dilemma here. I had a three hour recording going on and the computer was getting very, very slow, especially as you can see right now with new words. So when there's a new word, you can see there's a bit of a delay because I asked Python to print out this list, which at this point was massive. So I had to make a decision. Do I keep the program going and see how far it can get? Or do I stop it and see if I can salvage this recording? Because by this point, my computer was getting very slow. And I chose the latter. I decided I would stop the program and I would instead take the recording. And I think this is fine because the program had no intention of stopping. It looked like it could go on forever. And the only reason it actually lost a life, it just lost another one. But the only reason it lost lives was because I accidentally clicked the mouse. That's literally the only reason the life was lost. The program was perfect when it could zoom in. The image recognition was flawless. And so I think the point was proven. That can go on forever. Now, I had a bit of trouble here stopping the recording, actually. As you can see, my computer was so slow, it just wouldn't let me stop it. And this was mainly because of this massive list that Python was trying to print out every word. As you can see here, the program got to 7,792 words, which I think proves the point that this program is perfect far enough and definitely adds another win against the Human Benchmark website this time. Another reason I actually stopped the program, I don't know why I'm explaining myself to you guys, but another reason I did it was because it was way past my bedtime and my computer's fan is taking off a Boeing 747. Sounds a little like this. And yeah, it's just really annoying and obnoxious and just not pleasant. But do you know what's the opposite of annoying and obnoxious and not pleasant? Today's sponsor, Raid.